Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service with the National College of Ireland uh, and in this short video we're going to deal, in another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions uh, we're going to define what it means for a relation to be asymmetric okay and uh, this the next video after this is going to deal with what's known as an anti-symmetric relation uh, but in this video we're going to deal with what's known as asymmetric relations and let's just define a relation again so uh, what is a relation so our definition uh, a definition of a relation is a relation a relation is simply is simply okay, a subset okay a subset of a cross product okay that's all a relation is it's a set from a cross product there's a set of ordered pairs effectively from a cross product so as an example uh, let let a be the set that contains one two and let's say five and let's calculate a cross a and what we're going to do is we're going to construct this table here where a listed down here the domain one two five and a listed across the top one two five and we're going to construct the ordered pairs one 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 two one five two with one two with two two with five five with one five with two five of five so now this is the set of ordered pairs and we're going to take all of those guys and we're going to put them inside a set okay and then what we end up with is we end up with this cross product and what we're going to do is we're going to choose we're going to choose values from that particular cross product yeah okay so for example i might say or one is the set that contains the values let's say it contains one two let's say it contains uh, five one and let's say it contains let's say for argument's sake two five okay that's this is a relation because this is a subset of a cross product we can do another one let's say or two uh, is equal to let's say we have one one we could have two two and we could have let's say uh, two five okay that's another relation because this is another subset of this cross product and let's say we have another one let's say or three is we could have uh, 2 2 we could have let's say uh, 2 5 as well let's say 5 2 and we could even throw more in these are all relations of size 3 okay that's a relation because it's a subset of this cross product but we're interested in specific types of relations and in particular the ones that are called asymmetric relations so I need to give a definition of an asymmetric relation so our definition so if you want to test to see whether a relation is asymmetric, you need to have that relation in your hands. You need to have that relation in the first place. So you need to be given it. So let's define it. So given a relation, relation or, okay, um, on a set A, because they all relations come from a cross product of some set. So given a relation or on a set A, we say that or is asymmetric okay, asymmetric if and only if okay okay for all for all ordered pairs a b that are in or okay so for all ordered pairs we have that b a is not in or and it has to be true for all ordered pairs okay and we don't care it doesn't matter whether a is equal to b okay uh, if a is happens to be equal to b that's that's fine uh, when actually when you flip it it's flip should not be in there which it will be if a is equal to b is in the set so really uh, asymmetric sets or asymmetric relations are definitely relate cannot be relations that contain these reflexive or these reflexive ordered pairs here can't contain them either but also can't contain the symmetric couples associated with 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 uh, with the ordered pairs that are, that are within the set okay so let's see so to check to see whether a relation is asymmetric we need to go through every ordered pair and we need to ensure so we need to do it for all ordered pairs and we need to ensure that when we flip over the ordered pair that this flipped ordered pair is not in the relation so let's have a look at or one as an example so our first ordered pair is one two when we flip it we get two one okay when we flip it we get two one well two one ain't in this relation so that's good that's one step closer to be a being eight symmetric what about five one well five one is here when we flip it 
we get 1,5. And 1,5 ain't in here, so that's good, okay? And what about 2,5? Well, 2,5, when we flip it to BA, we get 5,2. And you can see that 5,2 see that also ain't in here, okay? So every time we took an ordered pair and we flipped it, the flip was not in the relation. And this was true for them all, so hence this relation, R1, is asymmetric. So this is asymmetric. Okay? That is asymmetric. What about R2? Well, let's start with our ordered pairs. Okay? Oh, well, the first ordered pair is 1, 1. When I flip it, I get 1, 1. And 1, 1 is in there. So there's a reason. It breaks this condition. Because what we're saying is that for all of these ABs, when we flip them, irrespective of whether the A is equal to the B, okay, it, the flip cannot be in there. So you can see here's one reason why this is not asymmetric. And you can see 2, 2. When we flip it, we also get 2, 2. And 2, 2 is in the set. So, and it shouldn't be if it's asymmetric. So there's another reason. So and let's see. When we look at 2, 5. When we flip it, we get 5, 2. Now, 5, 2 ain't there. But hang on. We've already got two reasons why this, this relation is not asymmetric. So this one here is not asymmetric. Okay. And then let's have a look at the final one down here. Well, you can see already that we have a 2, 2. Uh, so this is going to be a violation. 2, 2. When we flip it, we get 2, 2 which is in there, it shouldn't be when we flip it. So this is not symmetric either, asymmetric either. And also when you flip 5, 2, 2, 5, you get 5, 2. And when you flip 5, 2, you get 2, 5. These are all in there. There's three reasons why this relation here is not asymmetric, okay? Uh, okay, guys, uh, once again, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this video uh, was in some way intuitive uh, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. The next video is going to deal with what's known as anti-symmetric relations, okay? And uh, once again, thanks for watching, okay? Bye-bye.